Let's begin by analyzing the diagram that was given in the question. So we know that this light ray is coming in incident, right? Strikes the surface and is going to reflect. And at the same time, it's going to get reflected. Refracted. So when this gets reflected, assuming that this is a flat, smooth surface, we're going to use the law of reflection. And the law of reflection states that the incident angle must equal the reflected angle. So with that being the case, we know that theta 1 here is the same as this angle right here. So this is also theta 1. Next, before we can just start using Snell's law, we need to find what theta 2 is equal to. So look at the surface normal right here. The surface normal has an angle of 180 degrees. So we know that this is angle theta 1, this is 90 degrees, and this is theta 2. So all three of these angles will add up to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and solve for theta 2, and we'll get that theta 2 is equal to 90 minus theta 1. Now let's go ahead and use Snell's law. So we know that the first medium up here at the top in white, this is simply error. So the index of refraction for error is 1.000293, but let's just use 1. We'll round down to 1 first for simple simplification. We'll go ahead and substitute N2, and we'll just call this N sub G for the index of refraction for glass. And theta 2, we said was 90 minus 1, so we'll make a quick substitution right there. Now, if we simplify this, recall that it even tells you in this hint right here that the sine of 90 minus theta is simply cosine of that angle. So we get that sine of theta 1 is equal to NG times cosine theta 1. Now, if we divide cosine to the other side, we get that ng is equal to the tangent of the angle. So to find theta 1, we simply take the arc tangent of the index of refraction of glass. 